good Monday evening, uh, January 16th of 2023. I'm glad you're joining me for our nightly devotion. And let us begin with prayer. Lord, we thank you for the day that we were given. We thank you for the opportunities that you laid before us to meditate on your word and to act on your word and on your behalf. Lord, as we prepare our minds and our hearts and our souls for the rest that lie ahead, we ask for your protection and for your peace throughout the night. In your name we pray. Amen. Our Old Testament reading for this coming Sunday is from Isaiah chapter 9 and it's verses 1 through 4. And I'm going to go ahead and read it again tonight out of my Compass Bible and see what that version and that translation says. But there will be no more gloom for those who knew such hardship. In times past, God humbled the land of Zebulun and Naphtali. Later, he will restore the honor and glory to the way of the sea, the land beyond the Jordan, Galilee, home of the nations. The people who had been living in darkness have seen a great light. The light of life has shined on those who dwelt in the shadowy darkness of death. And you, God, will make it happen. You bolstered the nation, making it great again. You have saturated it with joy. Everyone in it is full of delight in your presence. Like the joy they experience at the harvest, like the thrill of dividing up the spoils of war. For as you did back in the day when Midian oppressed us, you will shatter the yoke that burdens them. You will lift the load that weighs them down. You will break the rod of their oppressor. So as I've talked repeatedly for the last few weeks, we are in the season of Epiphany. Uh, it is the season of light. It is the season of coming out of darkness. Uh, as we uh, celebrate the birth of Jesus, his life uh, and his uh, ministry here on earth, and as we prepare for Lent and entering into uh, that season of repentance. Um, you know, I talked about how this morning about how uh, we all have some kind of darkness that overshadows us at times. It's different for everyone. Um, and sometimes it's short and fleeting. And sometimes it lingers uh, and it can last for quite some time. I talked about whether or not it's a the grief of death, uh, of someone's death and passing, whether it is just an overwhelming sadness, someone who may struggle with depression or anxiety. It could just, it could be seasonal, weather related, um, you know, as our days are, are gloomy throughout this winter season. Um, but something happened tonight that got me thinking about darkness and what uh, our testament, what our lessons are talking about this coming week. So each night we let the boys play with, um, they have uh, fire tablets, Amazon fire tablets they got for Christmas and they get about an hour, um, maybe 30 to 30 minutes to an hour depending on activities um, each night to play video games on their tablets. And tonight, Easton's was having some problems. It was freezing up, as he says, it's glitching. Gamma, my tablet is glitching. And I looked at it and it was, it was froze up and then all of a sudden it went dark. And some <clears throat> odd light things were coming through here and there, but overall it was, it was dark. And no matter what we did, no matter how many buttons we pushed, we couldn't get it to uh, to come back. We couldn't get the game to go again. So I said, well, buddy, I think we just need to reset. And he goes, what's, what's that? What is reset? And I said, well, it means we just need to shut it down, 
and start fresh. And it just clicked. You know, that is that is really uh, related to what we're talking about. Um, that sometimes when we're overshadowed by the darkness, sometimes when we are uh, mired in our in our doubts or in our fears or in whatever it is that is overtaking us, we need to just we need to shut down and we need to reset. We need to remember that God is there, that when we hit that reset button of that's what that's what Jesus's birth was. It was a reset for the world. It was a start over. It was a do over that said, you know, when we awaken, the light will be shining. The darkness will be gone and the light will be shining. And we are then to take that light and continue to spread it. So, um, Maybe as we look at, you know, the new year, the epiphany, preparing for Lent, things that may be uh, kind of weighing on us, let's consider a shutdown. Let's consider a power down. Take a minute and let's reset. And when we reset, let's keep our eyes focused on the light and the life of God who makes all things new, the God who will lighten our load and lift our burdens. Let us pray. Lord, oftentimes we are overwhelmed, we are burdened, we are shackled by things that are just too heavy for us to bear. When those things overtake us, all we see is darkness. But Lord, you offer us a reset. You offer us an opportunity to shut down, to power off those things that are weighing us down. That when we, are, when we turn back on, when we open our eyes and we reset, it is in the light and the life of Jesus where we find ourselves comforted, where we find ourselves embraced and held, and where we find our, our burdens lifted and carried away. Lord, may your light shine down on those who are struggling, be it in health, uh, be it physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual. Lord, we lift up to you Neil and Sandra, uh, Dean and Cheryl, as each of them uh, handles their own situations differently, but we ask for your healing hand as, throughout their recuperation. Lord, we also lift up all those who are in our care facilities, those who are homebound, those who are just unable to get out and about in these current weather conditions. May your presence fill their hearts so that the darkness of isolation and loneliness does not overwhelm them. Lord, we gather tonight and we connect our hearts and our minds in unison through the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, can you pray with me a minute, buddy? I'm not sure what's going on here. Here, can you pray with me? Okay, ready? Let's pray. Oh, okay. We're going to pray. Let's let's pray first. Okay. And then we'll take care of this. Ready? Prayer helps. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All right, so I'm going to see what this is about. I don't have any real announcements. We have our Bible coffee tomorrow at 9 o'clock. 
So if you're able to join, um, that would be great. Uh, otherwise, I don't have anything else on our calendar for the evenings. Um, I will be back tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock uh, to talk a little bit more about our upcoming lessons for this Sunday. Um, until then, Easton, do you want to, since you hadn't been able to, do you want to say hi? Hi. Right. Okay, I'm going to take care of whatever yeah. this is. Um, I yeah. hope you have a wonderful and blessed night. And I will see you tomorrow morning again at 8 o'clock. Thank you and God bless. Now? Now, yes.